Intranasal midazolam dosing for pediatric procedural sedation. Intranasal midazolam represents a valuable pharmacological option for procedural sedation in the pediatric emergency department setting. Its utility stems from the non-invasive route of administration, which is generally well tolerated by children, and its rapid onset of action. This method is particularly advantageous for procedures such as laceration repair, where rapid and reliable sedation is needed to minimize distress and ensure successful completion of the intervention. While its use is established, determining the optimal dosage that balances efficacy and safety has been an area of ongoing clinical investigation. Key Findings on Dose Efficacy a recent randomized clinical trial provides important data on the appropriate dosing of intranasal midazolam for this population. The study included 101 children, ranging in age from 6 months to 7 years, all undergoing laceration repair. The investigators tested four different dosages, 0.2 mg per kilogram, 0.3 mg per kilogram, 0.4 mg per kilogram, and 0.5 mg per kilogram. The primary objective was to achieve adequate sedation for at least 95% of the procedure duration. The results indicated a clear dose-response relationship. The lower doses, specifically 0.2 mg per kilogram and 0.3 mg per kilogram, were found to be insufficient to meet the criteria for adequate sedation and were discontinued early from the study protocol. Conversely, the higher doses, 0.4 mg per kilogram and 0.5 mg per kilogram, demonstrated greater efficacy, achieving adequate sedation in approximately two-thirds of the patients receiving these doses. Safety and Practical Considerations Beyond efficacy, the study assessed several secondary outcomes that support the practical application of intranasal midazolam in this setting. The onset of sedation was rapid, occurring within minutes of administration, which is highly desirable for acute procedural settings. Recovery times were also prompt following the procedure. The safety profile observed in the trial was favorable. Adverse events were reported as rare and were non-serious in nature. Furthermore, both the clinicians who administered the medication and the caregivers of the children reported high levels of satisfaction with the sedation experience. This high degree of satisfaction reflects both the effectiveness of the sedation and the minimal associated complications. Clinical Recommendations for Practice Based on these findings, certain clinical implications become evident regarding the use of intranasal midazolam for pediatric procedural sedation. Lower doses in the range of 0.2 to 0.3 mg per kilogram should generally be avoided due to their insufficient sedation efficacy. The data supports the use of higher doses, specifically 0.4 mg per kilogram to 0.5 mg per kilogram, to achieve a higher rate of procedure and success. These higher dosages demonstrated better sedation outcomes without increasing the incidence of adverse events, maintaining a favorable safety profile. The combination of rapid onset and rapid recovery times makes this dosing strategy practical for time-sensitive procedures in the emergency department. When implementing these dosages, healthcare providers should continue to monitor the patient closely for the depth of sedation and for any potential adverse effects. Communication with caregivers is also paramount, informing them about the anticipated effects of the sedation and setting clear expectations for the post-procedure recovery period.